Hello and welcome today. Uh, today we are going to do another fun cartooning exercise. Um, I put out these couple of letters here and some numbers. So I got the capital letter B, the lowercase letter B, the capital, oh, sorry, I was going to call it capital, the number two, and zero. Now, what I want to do is use these to cartoon something. So I made them in red, and I'm going to be drawing over them in black, all right, just so you can see the difference. So we're going to start with the capital letter B. And what I'm going to do with the capital letter B is make a bear. Okay? So we start by putting two circles, one small one up there, and one small one up there. And we're gonna zoom in on this for now so we can see it even better. Okay. And inside, we're gonna make a couple of dots for the eyes. And I'm going to use a circle again for his nose. I'm going to fill that circle in. And after you fill that circle in, we're going to make a little W, a lowercase w. You see that? And we got a bear's head already. So we're going to use this bottom part as his body. So what I want to do is I want to create an oval right there. And I want to create a circle right here. Okay. I'm going to create two lines and attach it to another oval. And I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to finish the I'm going to stop when I get to the bottom. All right. And let's make another oval right here. So what we made here is this one. Th these two top ovals on the, on the top of the belly are his arms. This and the two bottoms are his feet. So this foot right here looks like it's coming out at you, that it's facing you. We could make it a little bigger if you want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this in because you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this look like a pole, not a polar bear, a panda bear. But this is the basic for any bear. We can change the shape of the nose if you want to. And with the sh changing the shape of the nose, you can give it a triangle. We can move the eyes a little closer together or further apart. We can make them look a little goofy that way. I'm going to cover up his arms, right? Let's just do that. I'm going to do this right here. Now, polar bears, if I remember correctly, right, have black ears. And they have a little black down here going across their bodies, right? Okay. And they even do have, like, a mask around their eyes. So if you want, what we can do is we could fill in the whole area of his eyes, and we can leave it like that. Or if you're drawing in pencil, you could take a little bit of an eraser and leave him with eyes. 
And I think that looks kind of fun. Now there's one other thing. I'm going to change the color so you can see something else I'm going to do here. And I'll just make it really bright, whatever. And what if I was to put a rectangle um, right in, going from his mouth into his arms there? You see that rectangle? And if I put some lines in there, and maybe a little shape of a leaf hanging off, it could be like he's chewing on bamboo. All right, so that's a cartoon bear. Let's do, let's go back to black. Let's move over to this one here, the lowercase b. What I'm going to do with the lowercase b is I'm going to turn that into a princess by bringing a line down, and that's her hat that she's going to wear. And then I'm going to bring in a curved line down to here, and a curved line down to here. All right. And inside, I'm going to put in her eyes, which are just some circles with some dots, and maybe some eyelashes, three lines for eyelashes, a cute little nose, and a big smile. Now, I'm going to draw her body going down. So I'm going to have, let's give her a rectangle right here with two circles on each side. That's the puffiness of her dress. Now we're going to make like a bell shape down here for her dress being even puffier. And we'll put two little curves down there to for shoes. And then we're going to draw out two curved lines. And her hands are just going to be little like bumps or bubbles, whatever you want to call them there. And we could decorate the dress any way we want. If you want, we can give her a collar and maybe some decoration around the collar. Maybe a little decoration there. Maybe a couple of lines in her dress. And maybe she has a ribbon going down. And there's a princess. Now let's move to the number two. This number two, we're going to turn into a person. Now, this right here, this curved line coming down, this looks like it could be his eyebrow and his nose, you see? So I could put an eye here, an eye right here, put another curved line for the eyebrow, and let's give him a smile. And then we can draw a curved line around to finish up his head. All right. And if you want, we can add an ear and some hair. Now, for the last one, the letter, I said the letter, the number zero. This is one of my favorites to draw. This is going to be an airplane, like an old airplane. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little dot in the center. Maybe make it a little bigger. And we're going to do some zigzags, and they're going to get bigger as they get to the top. And we're going to do one this way on the side, and one this way on the side. And that's the propeller. That's the big propeller. And having these lines right there makes it look like it's spinning. So now let's draw a long rectangle like so, and we're going to make it funny because it's a very small plane with a giant propeller. So as we're making the, the two lines to make the rectangle, we're not going to finish the rectangle going up. What we're going to do is we're going to go at an angle. We're going to go draw it kind of crooked. I'm going to draw up and over. Okay. And I'm going to draw another rectangle out over here and a small one right there. And we're going to draw a big rectangle out over here. Okay. Let's just make them connect. And I'll get my eraser and fix that right there. There we go. We're going to put a half 
circle over it. And we'll draw a curved line in that half circle. And then we're going to just draw a little dot with a little rectangle. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in so you can see that better. You see that little dot with the rectangle there? And then maybe I'll just draw a line out like so. That's the pilot. He's flying the plane. Now, what about these lines over here? We may not need them, the lines that cross over. So we can erase those if you want to. And there you go. You've got, out of letters and numbers, you got a bear. We got a princess. We've got a face. And we got a plane. All right. So if you practice those, you can really create anything. You know, try different numbers. Try different letters. What can you make if you use the letter D, whether it's capital or lowercase? What can you make out of the number four? You know, think about those. I'll be back and actually show you another time. All right. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you very, very soon. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.